Paranoid Android by Captain Holly Short of the LEP Please note, this fic was originally submitted as a song fic to Radiohead's Paranoid Android, but due to fanfiction.net's policy against song fics, I have removed the lyrics from this recording. Unrest Fowl gripped his head. The voices were driving him absolutely crazy. He crossed his legs on the sea and tried to meditate, humming Mozart's 40th in G minor as he did so. He heard a noise and almost jolted from his seat in shock. It was just Holly. He took a deep breath to calm himself and counted to five to assuage the number gods. He tried to smile winningly at her, but ever since he threatened her of controlling him, she had been slightly wary of the fifteen-year-old genius. Are you all right, Artemis? she asked cautiously. Artemis frowned. She was treating him like an imbecile. No, of course not, he said. I am suffering from a highly frustrating mental disorder, which has no apparent remedy, and I almost got crushed by a falling shuttle. Holly let the breath go that she had been holding. He was thinking straight, at least for the moment. Do you hear them? He asked, his eyes wide like Luna Lovegood's, sending shivers down Holly's spine. Hear what? She dared to ask. The voices, he said, are chickens inside an egg. He smiled unnervingly, as if hearing things like that was perfectly normal. Holly pretended to listen. No, she said. I don't. Perhaps my hearing is failing me. Artemis frowned. You are mocking my intelligence, he accused. Mrs. Blastodonis, it's turning me into an invalid. Holly noticed that the real Artemis Fowl was talking. No, it isn't, she said. Fowley is researching all the possible cures, and you'll be back to your old tricks in no time. Artemis seemed slightly cheered by this, but didn't allow it to give him a false sense of security. His eyes suddenly widened, and Holly knew that the Artemis she knew was gone for the time being. This is all for your gain, he said. You want me out of the picture so you can take over the world. Holly knew that this was a perfectly normal accusation for someone with Atlantis complex, but still found her mouth open indignantly. What? she stuttered. I bet you don't even know who I am, Artemis said, his eyes boring into her own. Artemis, Holly said. Snap out of it. No, 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 Artemis said. One, two, three, four, five. Five words. Good luck. He took a deep breath and found that he could once again think straight. Holly was finding all this very confusing. He was changing from Artemis Fowl II into the crazy lunatic in the space of about thirty seconds. Artemis smiled again as he felt a strange sensation fall over him. Holly's eyes widened once again as Artemis fell to one knee in front of her. Captain Holly Short of the L.E.P., he said. I have loved you ever since the moment I set my eyes on you. Will you marry me? Holly's mouth dropped open. He sounded so sincere, and then he was back to crazy. The End <laughs>